Hi everyone, this is Sharon. Today I'm really excited to bring a project to you that is part of a collaboration that I've been asked to participate in. It's called Out with the Bane, The Last Days of Summer. And it's a really a neat collaboration because uh, it gives you all kinds of inspiration to do projects kind of in late summer before we head into the fall and start doing all the fall things. So this collaboration is hosted by Mandy of Sunflower and Doors and Julie from Julie's Paper Crafts. And they are doing it in conjunction with their a Facebook group. It's called Junk Journals Ideas and Inspiration. So I will have a ton of information and links in my description. I will have links to the channels of all the participants in the collaboration, as well as the Facebook group. Um, and there's also a playlist that has been put out. I will link that as well um, on YouTube and it will contain all of the collaborators um, videos in there. And that's just a nice quick place to jump to if you wanna see all of those videos and there are close to 50 of them in there right now. So my day for the collaboration is day 23 today and my prompt is Hidden Treasures. And I was pretty excited to have that prompt because I like to put hidden treasures into all of my projects. So I will show you what I've made for my project. I've made a couple of journals that I put inside these little tins as hidden treasures. And Mandy and Julie provided us with some kits that they created, digital kits that we could choose to use or not. We didn't have to, um, but I chose to use them. They're just beautiful kits. Julie's has gladiolas and Mandy's has poppies. And so what I did was kind of, um, I combined them both in both of these projects, but this one is more heavily poppies and this one is more heavily the gladiolas. So... Um, as I go through and show you these kits, keep in mind that both Julie and Mandy are offering 50% off on their digital kits throughout the month of August. So I will list that coupon code down below as well so you can check them out if you want. I also know they have some freebie add-ons in their shops for you as well. So let's take a look inside our boxes. I think we'll just work on one at a time. So we'll start with this one. I covered the inside of the cover, so on the top I just added some original pieces of ephemera, a little note, a piece of a book spine, and a book page. And then I have my little journal secretly tucked inside. It's snug, but it does fit in there. And then the bottom of the tin is also covered with this beautiful image. I thought it would be fun today to maybe take you along with me and stuff these journals with all the fun little hidden treasures that I like to put in them. So I've got my journals made. This one I tied up with this um, crinkled seam binding ribbon and I just aged it a little bit with some ink. And then the covers of both of these journals I created from some old linen. And this one just has some nice little cut work along the edge. And then I lined those because I didn't want them too thick with a book page. So this is an old 1700s rag paper book page. I just stitched that to the cover. And then you can see front and back. So it is a nice, um, very pliable cover, not too thick. And then I stitched my signature into that fabric cover. The pages um, for these journals all come from either vintage and antique ephemera, um, some, I've got some um, handkerchiefs in here, or I've got them mixed with the digitals from Mandy and Julie. For my ephemera pieces, I've got I raided my, this was fun because I could raid my um, little scrap boxes for all little fun pieces um, because these journals are quite small. They're about three and a quarter by four and a quarter, four and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I thought, um, let's just put a bunch of 
a whole pile of things together and we can just stuff those in all the pockets and tucks and things together. So here on this page, I added this little laundry label. And then on this one, I've got some lace along there. And then I did some stenciling on that page. And I thought I would just add this old antique calling card there. I've got this fun little paper clip that I'll use. see how I can do with this small journal <laughs> on camera with all the little fiddly bits in there. It's always fun to work on different sizes. I really enjoyed working on this small scale. Okay, here I created a belly band again with one of my scrap pieces, added a little button, and in there I thought we could tuck a couple of pieces. This is an old vintage map piece, and then this is just a journaling spot that I made. Um, it's got this little piece inside. I also used quite a few images in these journals from the Graphics Fairy as well. The beautiful gladiolas in all different colors. And this is one of the background pages. I think that was from Mandy's kit. I thought on this page, I've got this fun little vintage tag, this stamped piece in gold, and then I created this little journaling card with that beautiful image and backed it with some old paper. Surprisingly, I think there is quite a bit of room for journaling in these small journals. I just tried to add as much as I could, so it would be a fun little place just to add some little notes and things. This is an old book page of a French um, embroidery book. Here I added a piece of wool on the top and then just a full button there. And then here I created a top tuck out of this um, vintage wallpaper piece, added some lace onto there. And then I created this little journaling card, added some fabric on there. Backed it with some straw paper. Tuck that in there. I also tried to include a fair amount of stitching in the journal, which I love to do. Here I've got an old dictionary page and I just created a small pocket. Embellished that a little bit. Added some uh, washi tape throughout because some of the book pages are old and need a little bit of reinforcement. So I've got this off cut of um, a Florentine paper, and then this little tag. Tuck those in that pocket. Here I've got a um, vintage postcard that I used for my page. Did a little stamping on the top of that. And then here I've taken a pressed floor that I had for my garden and I thought I would just add this little piece here. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, I just folded it over and, and stapled it and added this little full card in there. Some room to journal on the back side. And this page I think would also make a nice journaling spot. Some old vintage German um, music paper. Here I've got a top tuck, and in there I just created this little fun piece with some papers that can be used for journaling, and it's on uh, an old book page. I just stitched that down on the side. And I love using adding machine tape with the old number fonts. Here's a handkerchief that I included as a page, and I just added um, some lace and a little bit of slow stitching on there. And I didn't want it too loud, so I just used some shades of whites and beiges. On this side, I folded it in to create a pocket I stitched across the bottom. So in there, I thought we could tuck this little tag, this beautiful deer. Here, 
here I added a wax seal and just layered it up with some tissue paper, some sewing tissue paper. Birds on the center of the signature. On the signature are the um, strings for my where I sewed my signature and I just added a couple of teeny little buttons on there. And then I embellished up here with some lace pieces. Here on this side of the pocket, I made this little piece with the cute bunny on there. Again, I used some old, um, this is not adding machine tape, but it was like um, some ledger paper, some printed ledger paper. Again, I did some slow stitching on the page. And then in this top tuck, I made this little piece, did some decorative stitching on there with my sewing machine. And then I did punch along the side of some of my pages, just for a little added interest. And then here on this page, I've got this vintage tea card. And then I created this um, little trifle that's almost like a little wallet. And then I just created a little pocket in there and added a couple of little vintage pieces. Put that on the side of the page and add my card. Well, all right, let's take that off because I want you to see this page first. So I have this. Um, little corner tuck with this lady on there and I am just going to insert this little piece this is some vintage wallpaper put that in there let's I think let's put our flap on this side so we can see her better and then put that like that I think that works better here on my postcard I just added to that on one of my vintage stamps. The other side of that postcard. Here I added this vintage label and I think it came from knitting needles or something like that. It was gifted to me in a little box, a treasure box. <laughs> Um, here I've got a strip of paper that I did some watercolor swatches on. And so in that pocket, I thought I would just add this envelope. It's a brown craft envelope that I waxed, and then I just added this vellum piece on the front and stitched that. And then in there, I've got a couple of little tags that I made. in there. On this page I did some stenciling again with paste and then this beautiful image on this side. I like that one. I think that's a graphics fairy. Here on this gladiola page I just embellished with some old German um, measuring tape and a little bit of stenciling. And I thought I would take one of my vintage photos of this lady. I just love these photos. I've got a couple of them. They're black and white mostly, but then they've got some very pastel coloring added to them. We will just clip her right to the top of that page. Here I stapled on uh, an old ticket and a button card. And then I created this corner tuck from this piece of, um, it's like a, an antique French linen. And then I've got a little laundry label on there. And I thought in that pocket we could add a couple of things. This little French piece from a French magazine. That's an original piece. And then I made this tag that can go in there. And this is a button card that I used. Okay, and here I've got a flip out. I lined that with a piece of vintage wallpaper and a stamped um, strip of uh, paint chip card. 
And then on the inside, I've got an old, um, I think this is probably Italian, an old Italian book page. And I just added that pretty medallion in there. I thought that went nice with the gladiolas. And so in there, I thought we could tuck this glassine envelope. And I've just got a little piece in there that kind of peeks through. So we can put that in there. Here I've got a rather wide belly band with this image. And in there, I thought we could tuck these few pieces here. I've got an old Italian dictionary page that I just folded up and I thought that would make a nice little tuck folder for these items. So this is just an off cut of an or not avocado dyed, um, cabbage dyed I think, piece of paper. And this is just a little card that I made that I backed with some embossed paper and added some gold to that. Some pretty pieces. And this is our last page. I have these vintage um, dime roll covers and I just added that to the page. So we've got it stuffed pretty good now. <laughs> um, so let's try to tie this up and we'll put it back in our tin. Let's see if I can tie this the way I had it. Now it's going to be a little bit different because we've got it stuffed pretty full. But I like to twine it around at least twice. And then give it a nice little bowl. And then we will just put this right back into our sweet little tin. And we've got a beautiful hidden treasure in there. Okay, and then we will move on to the second one. So this is the poppy one. It's got some really beautiful deep blues. I love those shades of blues. And then with these kind of corally colors, just beautiful. So the inside of this one, again, I used some vintage um, original pieces of paper. So I've got an old book page, a couple of old book pages, um, some adding machine tape, and then an old ledger sheet, and then this is a Roxy Creations label that I added. And the journal I'll pull out, and this is what's in the bottom. This is from Mandy's Poppy Kit. Really beautiful. And then I just added this label in the bottom. For this journal, I tied it up with this piece of cotton, kind of a torn strip. I got this from this little ball I found at an antique mall. And I think they used to roll up these strips of cotton, kind of scrap pieces of, could be from old clothing or something. And I think they used them to make rag rugs, if I'm not mistaken. But I just love the color blue and I thought that went really well with Mandy's kit. So I'll untie that. Again, I use this old piece of linen fabric for my cover. And there's a little bit of cut work on this edge as well. And then similarly to the other one, I lined it with this old rag paper book page. Just gives it a really nice texture and feel. I love putting my hand across that. So here on my first page, I've got some lace that I adorned along the side. Here in this side tuck, I've um, it's an embossed piece of paper that I inked got a little label in there and I already tucked in there this antique calling card that's what the page looks like so we will put that in there and then I will go get the rest of my ephemera pieces that I gathered up for this journal here again similar to the other one I embossed the page with um, some paste texture paste here I've got a little belly band, and you can see the beautiful poppy image there. So in that belly band, I've got this Florentine paper piece that I made that just folds open for some journaling space. And then I've got this beautiful summer image of this family at the beach, and that opens up. So we will tuck those into the belly band. 
And I added a little bit of lace to the top of that. And I've got another beautiful postcard image in this one. Here on this page, I added this wax seal. And then I just backed it with a little bit of sari ribbon underneath. And on this page, I thought I would clip this fun old recipe card that's well used. Beef rib sauce. It's probably pretty good. <laughs> and I just added this little sticker on there. And then on this side, um, I sort of created a little booklet out of it. So I folded that over and then I've just got some little off-cut pieces of paper on the inside. And I thought I would just clip that on here. Maybe on the top. Here on this page, I've got, again, a handkerchief for my page with some nice lace on the top. And then I just added another piece of lace that I slow stitched onto there. And I thought we could add this little journaling card there. I backed it with some old ledger paper um, and just provided a little bit of writing room there. So let's pin that on. I went through a lot of my teeny little paper clips for these journals. On this side again, I brought the handkerchief around to form this side tuck. And in there, I made this little piece. So it's a card with a pocket on the back. And in there, I lined it with some old book page. And I just put this beautiful photo of Mary Ellen from 1934 in there. It's kind of shiny, so it's hard to see. So we will just tuck her in there. And then Mary Ellen's friend. I don't know her name. Oh, Mildred. Very possibly Mildred. <laughs> Again, one of those beautiful old photos with the pastel coloring on, on it. And I thought we could just clip her on here. Now, I'm going to clip her there along with this envelope. So it's a glassine envelope. And I just have this journaling card with some lined paper in there. And then this beautiful stamped image on this side coming through. So I thought we could clip that over this page. And then on this side, we will add Mildred. up a little bit higher okay on this page again I've got an old um, embroidery book page and then I've got a top tuck up here with a pressed flower and I thought in that tuck we could add this little piece it's an old envelope that I coffee dyed so I just kind of folded that over and stitched it, created this little tuck on the back, added some old French ledger paper in there, and then some decorative paper on the front. You can stick that in there. This beautiful garden image on this side. That is from my scrap box. I'm not sure exactly where that came from. Here I've got the nice um, music paper for my page that I punched, and I thought on this side with the poppies, I um, endured, adorned this page with some lace again, but I thought we could add a couple of these pieces. So I've got this card with the beautiful chandeliers and another one of those dime roll covers. I just um, created this kind of little um, pocket where I could slip an old piece of Florentine paper in there. And we'll just clip these two this page okay in the center we've got this bird image and again the tiny little buttons here I created a top tuck and added a fabric ruffle another laundry label and then I've got this old um, piece of currency from, I think it's Bangladesh, yes. And I just love the colors in that. I thought they went well with my tuck, so I'm going to put that in there. 
Here on this page, I created a little pocket, lined that with some of these um, embossed paint chip pages in the press flower. And in there, I've got this cigarette card, with the bird, vintage one, and then this vintage um, piece of French paper. Again, I think it's from an old newspaper or magazine. Tuck those in there. Another beautiful poppy page. Here I created the side tuck with some antique wallpaper. I think this one is quite old. And in there, I thought we could just put this pretty little floral image, little card I made, and I just tucked that into an old book page. Some stenciling again. And then on this side of that handkerchief pocket, I just have this pretty little floral image card to put in there with this cute little girl on the back. <laughs> Many hidden treasures. Here on this page, I've got another one of those craft envelopes that I waxed. I just added a little bit of embellishment on there and tucked a fun little surprise in there. So I will put this on the top of this page. Here I just got a little scrap of um, embossed paper and then I added one of my vintage stamps to that page of the postcard. Some stenciling up at the top. Here I've got a flip out and I added some vintage wallpaper and Florentine paper to that. And I thought in there we could just tuck this tag that I made, some old fabric at the top. On this page, I stapled on this strip of watercolor samples or swatches. And then here I've got this lady on my quarter pocket with this beautiful image of the sky behind it um, for the page. And then in there, I thought we could put this little tag that I made. And that takes us to the back of this one here. I've got a little bit of fabric for my tab and some punch paper that I added. So that is that one. We've got her nice and stuffed now. So let's wrap her back up and we will get this one put into the tin as well. This one I'm only going to wrap around once because it's cotton fabric and it's a little bit thicker than the other one. So I don't want it too bulky for a tin. And of course I do not tie my bows very well on camera so we will do our best here today. <laughs> okay, I think that will work for now. So let's tuck this one back in and cover her up. So I hope you enjoyed this video today of my project for the collaboration, um, our fun little hidden treasures. I will be putting both of these journals into my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in purchasing either one of these, go take a look. I had a great time doing this collaboration and I really want to thank Mandy and Julie so much for inviting me to join in. And I hope you will too. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.